Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. Hello? Is anybody here? There has to be someone here. Not good. David! Marvin! You there? I found a way out! It's in here! Find that guy.
Give me your hand. Help me! I got you. Give me your other hand. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I, I couldn't... I couldn't... Here. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Hmm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, Uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out, or you run. Got it? Yes, sir.
So Elliot was right. Yeah, but the passage isn't open yet.
What in the... Marvin, I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there.
you are. Come here. Take a look. Yes. I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. Yo, yo, yo. Wow, 29 people were in here? Holy shit. Uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that took a minute to get going. Like the shirt. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, same uh, Samurai. Oh, that's Samurai, is it? Samurai? Uh, Caballeroville. Uh, Kitty. Lonely. Where's Barry? Thank you all for being in here. Uh, sorry I played that without the um, without my mic and camera on. I just really wanted to make sure I focused and played this. Some of, someone said, hey, I think Seek has played this before. I, I actually have, uh, which is why I didn't care to record my face while playing it, because you weren't getting a first impression. I did play this at, uh, at uh, Comic-Con last year. If you've been watching my YouTube videos, you'll see that I recorded myself uh, playing this at Comic-Con uh, last year, or this you know, past year, 2018, um, which is the whole reason I had a one-day one ticket to Comic-Con, and I went down just to play this. And I got to meet all the developers behind the game, and I got to hang out with them for a few minutes and, and hang out at the RPD, uh, and it was a lot of fun. So, uh... We still have like four minutes left, so we could probably do a quick speed run, and I'll do it here in a few minutes, but I want to catch up on chat. I want to say thank you to everyone who popped in here. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, I this year is the year of Resident Evil for me. I am going to play a Resident Evil game every month. I don't stream as often on Twitch as I used to. I mainly make a lot of YouTube comment uh, co videos right now about uh, Venom, the, uh, not just the movie, but the comic book character. And we've been going through his entire like 30 year history. And I think right now we're about the halfway point uh, in, and we've done 300 videos in one year uh, just on Venom. And so we're going to do another 300 between now and the release of Venom versus Carnage, which is the sequel. Uh, but I am making uh, Resident Evil lore videos as well, and we're going to go over the lore. The first one's up today on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link uh, down here. Um, let me see if these commands still work. I don't know if they still do. Um, nope, they don't. <laughs> so it's just youtube.com slash me. And I put my first lore video up today, and it talks about 1962 to 1967 and how the Umbrella Corporation was founded. And it's going to be the first of 10 videos. I hope you guys enjoy them. Uh, they're going to basically tell you the entire history of Resident Evil between uh, the moment the T-Virus and the Progenitor Virus was first discovered, all the way up to the night before Resident Evil 2. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy that. Oh, it's good. Thank you so much. It's good to have all of you here. I appreciate it. Um, so, uh, yeah, so let's talk about that. So I did play that at E3. It was the same, almost the same exact demo, only they changed a couple of the things around. And I got to say a big thank you to Where's Barry, who's in the chat, or maybe he's gone now. Um, but uh, he made some videos earlier. I was at work all day, and so I couldn't, like, I wanted to watch at least one or two other people play this so I can um, just kind of at least know where I had to go when I had, like, five minutes left. I just wanted to make sure I knew where to end up at, uh, you know, when I beat it. And, uh, and little did I know it was the same place when I watched uh, Barry do it. Um, it was the same place that it ended at, uh, at, uh, or where they stopped me from playing at Comic-Con. It was right after the second cutscene with Marvin. So, um, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, so yeah, I have played this before, but that was, you know, about six months ago. Um, Seek from, what's that say? What's up? Stretch. Seek from Florida. Yeah. Do you know me from Florida? I used to live in Florida. Like, 12 years ago, I think. It's been a long time. So you have to forget, you have to refresh my memory because I don't have a lot of them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I used to live in Florida. Um, hello, Stretch Arm. Hello, everybody. So like I said, we'll, we have another playthrough. We'll play through it here uh, uh, and we'll try to speed run it. I, I don't know how many minutes. I tried. I was, wasn't thinking. I, I, I wanted to end with five minutes left. But I wanted to make sure I got footage of me unlocking both doors. Because basically I'm going to use that footage where I wasn't talking. And I'm going to add commentary to it. And release those videos on YouTube. Uh, and here on Twitch. Um, uh, so that's why I also wanted a clean, you know, no audio from me. No camera and everything on. So yeah, from Bad Apple Comics. 
Yeah, holy cow. I, I did. I briefly worked at a, a place called... Well, I didn't really work there. I wouldn't say I was an employee there, uh, but I they were nice enough to let me help out from time to time. Um, yeah, how do you, how do you, did you shop at Bad Apple Comics? Holy cow, that's great. Hashtag Chicago. I've never lived there, but I've, I've uh, been and know people from Chicago. Um, holy cow, Bad Apple Comics, what a blast from the past. I think the only person I, I still talk to that's from there is, um, Leva Bates, but I, uh, she's like a wrestler now. Uh, but we, I wouldn't say we talk that much, but she's, uh, but yeah. Oh, you're an artist from Florida. Sweet. Awesome, man. Well, hey, thank you. Thanks for popping back in. Uh, so, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the, the playthrough. I think we, I mean, we won't be able to finish it probably. Cause I don't know if I could beat this in three minutes. Um, yeah, we got two minutes and 58 seconds. I don't think that's enough time, but, uh, we'll, we'll do our best. And then I can talk to you guys while that's going on. Yeah, that is crazy. Holy cow. Yeah, Leva. Yeah, that was the, that's the only person who I I still see from time to time on like Instagram, and I think she follows me on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, and I think the only reason she follows me, I, I don't know how well she remembers me, but um, there was a a guy she used to date named Justin, who um, lives here in California, and me and him, I guess, m you know, worked on a show together and were friends a couple years ago. And so I think she mainly follows me because of him. I can't remember. Because uh, I wrote her once, and I said, hey, oh my god, it's so great that you're wrestling and doing all these great things. And she was like, ah, I think I know you through Justin. I was like, oh, maybe she doesn't remember me. <laughs> my speed run record is 343. I ran it about six times in a row. I couldn't beat that. I've uh, seen others do it in 3-2. Well, I'm not going to be able to do it in th in 258, that's for sure. Hello? Uh, is anybody here? Can we skip these? All right, so I ran outside. I got footage outside. That's good. Uh, but I gotta say, this this game is so far has just been awesome. I mean, even though this is something I've already played before at Comic Con, it still was. I was so happy to play it again. Um, you know, I would have loved if they put two 30-minute demos up, if they did one for Leon and one for Claire. I think that would have been really, really great. Uh, but at the same time, this whole thing exists literally just to uh, get people who are on the fence or who aren't sure, just to get that hype going, get them to try this and make them want to play more. Um, but of course, for the rest of it, I think Barry created like 20 accounts just to play it 20 times. I, I do not have that level of threat me. Um, but uh, but I am a little envious. I just don't have the time to sit around and, and make all those accounts and do all this. Uh, I have to work like every day this weekend, so I just won't. This is my only time I can play it is right now. Uh, I have three accounts and each one gets played three times. Oh, uh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, Barry probably gets. I don't know if he gets hookups from Capcom or anything. His channel's so big now. He's doing so much uh, free promotion for them. Um, but I love watching this stuff. If you guys, I'm, if I don't know if you're, you guys are here because of Barry, um, but if you're not following Barry, I highly recommend you do so. I don't think I was supposed to waste any time shooting him. So I think these zombies. Nope. Uh, where do I go? Oh, here we go. Oof. If we would have got grabbed, that would have definitely been Dunzo's. Does anyone know what started this? Thirty-four seconds left. Wow, we wow, that took three minutes to do. Yeah, no, we ain't get, we ain't getting out of here. I like this. I'll spend the last like 30 seconds. This I want to look at this. Um, the fact that they had people in here sick, you know, they had sick beds ready. I just love the st visual story uh, this tells. I, I, that was a, one of the main things I loved about the Comic Con was uh, was just seeing like these little rooms um, that just told a story. Like you could you could 
visualize what was going on in that room uh, before Leon showed up. Uh, time's up. Experience the rest of the story in the full game. That's okay, game. As long as we got our little bit of playthrough in. I can't, I can't believe how much that time that took. I wonder if it starts counting, because at the beginning when it shows the text with Leon, it gives you an option to press X, and I let that run for about 30 seconds. I wonder if it counts that. Um, I watched quite a few of your videos, Barry. It's, uh, it's how I found out about the demo. See, there you go. Yeah, Kitty, that's awesome, Kitty. Can everyone send congrats to Kitty, too, because she uh, just had a, a little boy race, uh, recently, and uh, his name's Elijah, and he's awesome, and she's uh, she's been a follower on my channel for a long time now. Um, the game looks great. The attention to detail. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, like I said, thank, I want to thank Barry because um, he made some videos. I knew the puzzles in this game were going to be different from the main game, so I knew they were going to change like the, the codes to the locks and everything like that. So I uh, was hoping someone would make a video to tell me what those codes were, and luckily on my lunch break today, Barry uploaded two of them. <laughs> he uploaded one, I guess, a couple hours before my lunch break, and then the other one while I was having my lunch break. So it showed the two lockers where you had to spell bio and res, um, that's those were solved there um, and then he had two other videos he uploaded about the or another video about the the horn and the lady and the ram and those codes to get the pendants so and I have a theory about putting in someone was saying like you can't uh, put in the second pendant and I have a theory about that um, if you so I think what activates Marvin uh, is we ran into, if you remember, I saw the key on the desk on the second floor, the, the, the spade key, and I ran past it. And I did that on purpose because I wanted to go into the library and walk a few feet to see if it would trigger Marvin's conversation. And we took a few steps in. I don't know, maybe if I didn't go far enough, I don't know. But we took a few steps in to the library and you noticed Marvin did not say, hey, Leon, get down here. So I was wondering if we could run into the library solve the second maybe this is something barry can do if we can get into the library and it doesn't activate marvin without getting the key i wonder if we can run downstairs pick up the second pendant and then go back get the key and then go through the door on the first floor um in leon's office the welcome party for leon if you go through that door because i think the only way marvin will the second cutscene will activate is if marvin calls you calls on you um Oh, and you have the safe code now, too? Oh, awesome. I still have 10 minutes left on my Steam account. Sweet. I might come over and watch you here in a few minutes, Barry. Um, I'm going to try to wrap this up in the next, like, five minutes. Um, safe code. Yeah, so the safe I wasn't sure about. I know you guys didn't have that, I don't think. Um, so I figured, yeah, it's fine. I'll, you know, I figured Barry would play it again, so we can watch that. Um, but so I'm thinking, if you want, if you pass the key and go into the library, see if Marvin calls for you. If he doesn't, I think you can run downstairs, get the second pendant, go back, get the key, and then go down into the Welcome Leon office and cut through there and still not have Marvin say, hey, Leon, get down here, and maybe you can put in that second statue, uh, that second um, pendant, uh, to see what other you know, line of dialogue Marvin says, um, and then run back upstairs into the library to activate that. Uh, I don't know. For all I know, when you, when you get the key, maybe when you're running back down the stairs to go to that office, maybe it triggers the conversation then too uh it just depends on where they program the characters to talk you know oh let's watch the trailer one more time i want to find out what's happening here um, she's the one at umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus yeah so and that this is cool you gotta be oh. kidding me god only knows what's down here i think we're gonna get a, a shot oh that's the alligator i think we're gonna get a shot of the the dog version g version three or four i think it's four g type four um, there's Mr. X, no, no, uh, yeah, there it is. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Rotten Tanaku, check us out. What's up? Man, I thought you were all wiped out. Oh, man, I'm so happy to see Hunk. Seeing Hunk is like seeing Boba Fett, um, for me. <laughs> Tofu's cool, too. I mean, it's funny that they, they're actually doing Tofu, but, um, yeah. And don't worry, I'm gonna buy the game. I haven't purchased it yet. I'm gonna. I'm still trying to decide if I want the physical one or the um, or the digital one. 
I figure if I get the physical one, I could go to a, a GameStop, pick it up that night, and film, do a little filming, and maybe meet some Resident Evil fans to make like a fun video out of. Um, that is one idea I have. The other idea is uh, if I have to work this night when it comes out uh, the night before, which I most likely will have to, um, then chances are I will. Uh, I'd rather have the. I, I won't make it. Like by the time I close my store, I won't make it over to GameStop before they close their doors because uh, we'll close at the same time. So uh, unfortunately, yeah, I have to probably have to buy the digital copy, most likely. Do you have to do a workaround to steam, stream the demo? I think so. I mean, you can you can create multiple PlayStation accounts and Xbox accounts and Steam accounts if you want. If you have like multiple email addresses and stuff, um, it's not something I'm against doing. It's just not something I feel like putting the effort into. Um, I kind of just wanted to get one playthrough, and I wanted to maximize the playthrough, which is why I watched like uh, uh, one of Barry's live streams earlier. Was because, uh, and then those two short videos he made was because, um, or I watched his live stream last night. I couldn't make it to the one he did tonight, unfortunately, because uh, I was at work. But um, I wanted to just maximize and get as much footage as I could of stuff I did. But uh, knowing that most of the puzzles are going to change anyway, so to me, I was like, oh, I'm not really spoiling the game. And, and, you know, not putting in the effort to solve the puzzles because the puzzles are going to change anyway for the final final version. So I wasn't too, so mad, you know, upset about that. Um, we already played the game, Windschnell. So you missed your chance, dude. I'm sorry. We already played it. I only get one 30-minute playthrough, so we already did it. Uh, I will upload it. You know, once I cut the stream, you can rewatch it if you want. Uh, but I'll upload it on, on uh, YouTube later with additional commentary as well. Um, hey, thanks, man. Appreciate you following me on YouTube. Uh, my first Resident Evil lore video went up today. So again, there you go. I'll put the link here. I think Where's Barry's about to go live, so I'm going to rush over. Uh, uh, yes, everything's all been set. I mean, I already recorded everything, so so we're good. So I'll have it, I'll have it up on... Uh, once I, I'm done, it'll already be up on Twitch, and then I'll probably post it um, tomorrow. Before I go to work, I'll try to record a new commentary tomorrow morning uh, over the footage for you guys, and I'll try to make a YouTube video. Uh, not live, secret private. Oh, you're not going live, Barry? What? Oh, well. Is the game out this month or next? It's on January 25th is the release of the game. Um, yeah, yeah. January 25th. So, yeah. So, the 24 people here, I'm sorry um, if you're here waiting to see me play the game. I've already played it. I only have the one account, and uh, I just, I gotta go to bed. I gotta be at work tomorrow, uh, but uh, I'll try to edit this tonight, and I'll um, get it all ready, and then I'll record a commentary over it in the morning, and try to um, overlap that and upload it to YouTube. But if you want to see um, any Res Evil videos, I posted my first one of the lore of Re the history of Res Evil. I'm doing 10 videos, and the first one went up today. So I put a link there to my YouTube if you want to go check it out. It's just like a six and a half minute video. And then um, I think I give Barry a shout out in it and a couple other YouTubers. Um, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy that, and I hope you guys enjoy all year long. I'm going to do Res Evil streams. Uh, this month, January and February, is Res Evil 2. And then I believe I have. Uh, Actually, I have it. Let me go to my Instagram real quick. I made a, a list. I'm going to play a different game, uh, a different Resident Evil game every month. Because I only really have, like, you know, two or three days each month that I can play a, a game with my YouTube uploading schedule. It's, like, all of the time I have. So, um, so yeah, January, February is going to be Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, March, we're going to play Resident Evil 6, the Chris and Sherry Campaigns. Uh, April is Resident Evil 6, the Leon and Ada campaigns. I figure Resident Evil 6 sucks, so we should get it out of the way first. Um, May is Resident Evil 5. June is Resident Evil 4. July is Resident Evil Revelations um, 1. August and September is Revelations 2, uh, episodes 1 and 2, 3 and 4. And then we'll do all the DLCs in October. Uh, November, we'll play Resident Evil 7 and all the DLCs. And then December, we'll play the Resident Evil 1 remake and Resident Evil 0. Uh, and then probably on Christmas Day, Resident Evil 2 again. We'll do, like, some speed runs of it or something. So, um, yeah, sorry, Windchill. I, I don't know how many times i got to tell you that I've already played the game. So I can't uh, play it again, dude. You only get 30 minutes. So uh, I've already played it, man. I'm so sorry. I, I, I hate to bum you out, man. I know you came here for the game. Um, but as soon as I stop recording, you can rewatch it if you want. Um, and you won't have my annoying voice talking over it. I'll add that later on YouTube. 
Uh, but I gotta go check out uh, my Venom. Let's draw. Seek. Oh, I will send me a, uh, send me a link to that. Um, shoot me a link to that. Send it to me in a whisper or something. You know, whatever you gotta do. So good to see you again. Nice to see a blast from the past. Uh, all right, you guys. You guys have been great. Um, definitely go find someone else that's playing this tonight and check them out. I gotta go to bed. My roommate, so you know, he's trying to go to sleep too. So I don't want to keep him up. But I appreciate the conversation. Thanks for chatting with me. I'm sorry, Winchill. I, I apologize that I didn't have the game to play for you, man. Um, I'm sorry you missed us. Uh, everyone else, have a good night. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the future. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe and click that notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming episodes. See you soon.